Roma is an emotional slice of life film set in 1970s Mexico where we follow the life of Cleo, a maid to a wealthy family. Roma is the new film from acclaimed filmmaker Alfonso Cuaron who brought us Children of Men and Gravity. But do not go into this film expecting more of the same. Roma is by all definitions of the word an art house film. Curon uses his trademark long takes to linger on the actors, allowing them to give amazing performances while the audience just absorbs everything that is happening. Now, the, most of the film is shot with wide-angle lenses, and the staging of every frame is filled with minute details of the world that Curon has created. Because it's a slice of life film, not a whole lot happens, you know, according to traditional plot formulas. Its style is kind of like the style of the Italian neorealism. If the names De Sica and Fellini don't mean anything to you, you're probably not gonna enjoy this movie. I was so freaking bored the entire time, and because this was on Netflix, I was already home. So yeah, I fell asleep a few times. Hey, but trust me, I know I didn't miss much of anything. The film focuses on Cleo and the family she's a maid for. Now both Cleo and the mother of the family experience heartbreaking loss from the men in their lives, but because of social responsibilities, have to continue facing what the world throws at them. It's not your traditional type of suspense. There's an extremely slow build as these two women are slowly dealing with the circumstances they've been stuck with. I mean, Cleo spends almost the entire film correcting how she's been wrong, but with no luck. There's, at almost every turn, like a literal or meta metaphysical slap in the face. However, there is a moment where there's this riot sequence and there's also a giving birth sequence that are great standalone pieces and the only types of traditional suspense throughout the entire film. The emotional story of these women is presented in parallel with the unrest of Mexico in the 70s. Now, Curon uses every filmmaking tool at his disposal to show this personal story that is reminiscent with films of the past. It's a pretty boring film. There are some very, very few things you can probably crack a smile at, but it's all the sentimental stuff you deal with in your everyday life. I mean, you can't get through life if you don't know how to laugh, so take that as you will. I did find myself smiling at some of the more human moments between Cleo and the children she looks after. I even laughed out loud during the time where Cleo's boyfriend was showcasing his martial arts moves while butt naked. And yes, I mean completely naked. This movie does earn its R rating. This is an example of cinematic art at its finest. It's not for everyone, but for those who appreciate the style, it will be quite the experience. 10 out of 10. You're joking, right? This is this movie, the entire thing, so freaking boring. Even that big riot scene was boring. This is easily a zero out of 10. I can appreciate these types of films and what the artist is going for. I just don't enjoy watching them. Four out of 10. There were some sentimental giggle bits spread throughout, but it didn't help with the boredom through most of the movie. Two out of 10. It's a different kind of suspense throughout the film. You know, like it's a real life suspense, waiting for things to happen on a daily basis. Four out of 10. We here at Who's Review give Roma the overall rating of Cinema Aficionado. Roma is a beautifully shot, acted, edited, and directed slice of life film that art house cinema fans are just gonna love. It's a modern day Italian neorealism at its finest. However, if you were just a standard moviegoer, this is gonna mean nothing to you. You might even find this movie quite boring. Since it is on Netflix though, I still recommend checking it out, even if it's just to see what those cinema aficionados are into lately. It's kind of like shopping for wine when you don't really drink wine. There you have it, that's our review. What do you think? Are we way off right on? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll check it out and respond. As always, if you want to stay up to date on all things Who's Review, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you also follow us on the brand new app portal where you can see all the reviews as well. Thanks for checking us out here at Who's Review, where everyone's a critic. I just realized I was not recording, but luckily, Tony only has a few lines in this one. From the top!